All right, folks. So today uh, I have John Sue with me. Uh, John Sue is an incredible uh, Grand Archive trading card game player, uh, especially Lorraine player. In fact, uh, I consider him a little bit of a rival, but of course a friendly rival. Uh, anytime I play him, he's always got the spark light to win the game. So, <laughs> uh, so I, you know, it's been a while since I posted a new video, um, and there's a lot going on with Grand Archive trading card games. So right now, uh, there's going to be a really big Discord event coming up uh, on Friday. I think it's going to be one of the largest uh, tournaments. I think they said there was like 45 players or something like that. Um, and then in... December and January, they're having the pre-launch events. The Kickstarter is going to be delivered in uh, February, and then in April, the unlimited sets so or the altered editions are coming out. So lots of things going on. Uh, so I figured I'd bring John Su in to uh, talk about tactics with Lorraine because a lot of people are getting interested in the game. They're looking at deck lists, but now the question becomes, okay, how do I play this? And what are the different things that I need to be aware of? So, uh, John Sue, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I'm just going to hand it off to you. Yeah, no problem. That's a pleasure. So, Lorraine. Lorraine is the warrior of uh, Grand Archive. And uh, you would have guessed that she's good with swords. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, Lorraine... Uh, the main game plan of Lorraine will, uh, will uh, be based on uh, her swinging with the sword and uh, having big attacks and multiple attacks uh, during during the game. So first of all, uh, there's the first the, the first uh, Lorraine first level of uh, that she uh, gets out for free a sword that costs zero from her material deck. Um, Basically, you will always, pretty much always, go for the Sword of Seeking uh, because the Sword of Seeking have the, has the re uh, really good attribute of having two durability, which is a big, big plus, uh, having, uh, being able to swing two times with it. We'll, we'll, we'll come more on that, but that's, that's the, big, the, big, uh, the big plus that this sword has. Compared to the ornamental great sword, which will have only one durability and will give plus one to uh, an ally. Um, this sword can is also good, but will more like uh, I'll get it out more when I have I have an ally in play. Uh, this ally could kill another ally, but it needs one more damage. So you get it out. You have a sword. You you have the damage to kill the, the ally, so that's that's uh, its role. Uh, then Lorraine, the big big uh, turning point of uh, the the uh, Lorraine game is her level two, which uh, when when she comes into play uh, as a level two, she gained the ability uh, to uh, draw cards when she kill ally, and she gained plus two to all her attack for the turn. For doing so, so you 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 want to wait to for a good opportunity to at least uh, kill an ally or maybe uh, push a lot of damage. So it's either one, one uh, it's it's either or one of those things uh, because uh, if if you um, often if you use this uh, uh, level two. And you don't utilize or um, enter effect uh, properly, you will most likely lose. So uh, it, it's it's a big big uh, burst of damage. And um, uh, the this this uh, level two uh, this enter effect can also be utilized to swing more than once. And uh, one way to do it is to uh, level up. And uh, I'll just get it out. Um, the the best way to do to do this is with the, the dungeon guide. The dungeon guide is pretty much one of the best Lorraine card right now, even if it's not a, a Lorraine card, because 
uh, in Grand Archive, when you when your uh, champion uh, attack, it uh, it rests. But if it becomes awake again, it can attack once more. And if you do this, the the on the turn that Lorraine level two has come into play, you will swing twice with the two damage bonus and the draw card on kill. And uh, with the dungeon guide, you can go in, uh, into level three and while doing so, you will be uh, you will awake your uh, wake your champion. So you can materialize level two, swing once, play dungeon guide, then swing once more. And furthermore, the Lorraine Prox Knight, Lorraine level three, has a passive that gives her more damage the more uh, sword she has in banish, and enables a lot of good. Um, combat trick and attacks uh, that are really cost effective and can dish out a really good amount of damage. Uh, for example, Spirit Blade Infusion. Uh, Spirit Blade Infusion says that target, target uh, Sword Regalia, I think, Sword Regalia? Uh, yeah, Sword Weapon uh, as plus three and on champion it, draw a card. And also, uh, this card costs two less to activate if your champion has dealt damage this turn. So if you are on a turn where you have swing, swung with uh, Lorraine uh, while she was uh, level 2, then level with Dungeon Guide into level 3. If you play this on the sword, it's free. It gives plus 3 to the sword, so 3 damage. And if you swing on the champion, if you hit the champion with, with this, you will draw a card. So it's basically 3 damage for free. Um, that's one of the examples that you can do. The other one is Ghost Strike. Uh, Ghost Strike, it's an attack that when you play this attack, you can uh, banish a sword from your material deck uh, to give plus one to your champion for the turn. But banishing a card, uh, uh, it's, it's banishing a card, but if you banish a weapon with it, it will also give plus one to Lorraine because she has her passive. That gives her plus one each time for each sword in the banish. So it's basically three damage for zero. And you have plus one damage for the rest of the game because you have now one more sword in the banish. And uh, and with the, uh, with the Lorraine passive, you have plus one damage for the rest of the game. The big difference between the two is uh, Ghost Strike can be played while having no sword in play. <clears throat> so if if I don't I only have uh, one durability on the sword, I swing with it level two. Then wh when when I'm level three and I want to swing w once more, I I need I, I would need the sword. So if if I don't have it, go strike is better in that situation. And that's why uh, I said that sword of seeking is really the best choice. Uh, if uh, when when you you level one uh, uh, to materialize when you level one because the two durability if you don't swing with it and go uh, the very next turn to level two then you can swing one with the level two when the sword is seeking go into level three and spirit with infusion and uh, the the sword of seeking to strike the the, the your opponent so that's basically the 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 line of play that I uh, that I aim with Lorraine, uh, uh, and now to, is to reach every game. Is this is this typically uh, is this like your your main game plan? If you're able to pull it off, great against every champion so and yes. element combo so far. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. It is. Yeah. That, that that's that's the main game plan. Uh, game plan, but th there's problem with this game plan, uh, which is you need uh, the dungeon guide. If you don't have the dungeon guide, you cannot uh, double dip on the Lorraine level two bonus, but you still can win. But it it will be uh, harder. If I have a dungeon guide in hand at the start of the game, that's the card I want to keep. And God. if I have this with one of the when with one of the 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 other two crux card, that's my main line that I want to play. Gotcha. And uh, there, there's uh, that's that's the fastest way to kill with Lorraine level three. Uh, 
that way. There, there, there's other way to play Lorraine um, that that I, I think I need to mention because uh, a lot of people play Lorraine more uh, aggro, and uh, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, what they will do is um, the game plan will be to uh, play more aggressive card, like uh, more aggressive ally, more aggressive uh, attack while level one, and then try to uh, end the game with cards like uh, Rending Flames, which is a fire card, fire attack, that will deal uh, 3 plus uh, 3 damage. And if you banish 3 fire card from your graveyard to uh, to the... If you banish 3 fire card from the graveyard, it, it will double its damage. But, but it doubles the total amount of damage that you have. So uh, let's, let's let's say for example you add the wire long sword in play, and you go to level two and swing with this. So it's two plus two plus three, so seven times two, fourteen damage. So brutal. that's that's brutal. Yeah, that's that's brutal. <laughs> the, this game plan has flaw because card like um, card like uh, deflecting edge. I, I think I have it somewhere. Deflecting Edge is uh, can prevent three damage from an attack, but since the prevention the prevention will prevent the damage before it doubles, so mm. in that case it will uh, take it f from fourteen to eight, so it will prevent six damage. So it's it's really it's really um, uh, it it hurts <laughs> being play, play the Deflecting Edge uh, that way. So, you know, that I think that's really important because that's something I didn't realize. I didn't realize that it reduces the dam, It prevents the damage before the doubling. So yeah. I actually played this in some variants of Rai because I thought I need to survive a little bit longer in order to win. Um, and then I took them out because I'm like, by the time I use it, I'm probably dead anyway. But that's that's a game changer for me. And I might actually put it back in since it could prevent technically twice the amount of damage. Uh, yeah. against the rending flames yeah that's that's uh the the main um use uh against fire lorraine which uh, fire lorraine uh aggro fire lorraine is a really bad matchup for rai uh, so uh yeah having having the deflecting edges in the deck can uh, really help with that um yeah. So, so, so uh, and also the, there's there's uh, other attack card like maybe fiery momentum uh, for fire Lorraine. Uh, once more fire Lorraine aggro, which will gain plus. It's two base, but gain plus one for each fire card in the graveyard. So uh, if you play uh, you play this alongside card like uh, increasing danger and uh, creative shock. Which are cards that are basically free uh, to play and will fill your graveyard, your graveyard with a lot of fire card. You can dish out really good amount of damage really quick. Yeah, and and for anybody who's brand new to Grand Archive and you're kind of just watching these videos, um, you might be a little confused because some of these actions are warrior actions, assassin actions, or um, you know mage spells. You can use any of these cards in any deck. It's just sometimes there's a class bonus where you know you see the creative shock has a class bonus if you're a mage you'll get that bonus but you, you yeah. still benefit from drawing the two cards and discarding a card and especially in fire lorraine if you're trying to get fire cards into your graveyard for uh you know fiery momentum or rending flames uh it's it's really really it's just gas yeah creative shock is one of the best fire card in the game right now uh, it's a free card because you draw uh, it, it costs itself, but you draw, uh, and you discard one, but you draw two. So it's card selection, and you discard a card. Uh, and in Grand Archive, there's the there's the uh, the keyword floating memory, which is a really important keyword that I can maybe um, talk about a little bit right now. Sure. Uh, floating memory is a keyword on card that um, basically says if this is in your graveyard and you want to materialize something that costs a memory, you can use use this instead. So let's say, uh, for example, you played Savage Slash earlier 
Savage Slash is a, a two, uh, two cost attack that deals two damage and has floating memory if you are a warrior. Uh, if you have played this, you can then use this to level to level two. You, you, you will use it and pay one less memory for two to level. Which is something that you would need if you want to play the the game plan of going level three. It's 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 really important because you need uh, you need cards to be able to deal damage. Uh, in Grand Archive, one of the one of the uh, worst mistake, not maybe not worst mistake, the most common mistake that I, I will see uh, new people do is playing a lot of card early on. Because um, if you play a lot of, uh, let's say you play a lot of ally, then your opponent sweep them all, then you you have lost maybe three card, four card. Uh, the, the this is uh, not 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 only three less ally, but it's also three less resource that you could have in your hand to play other card. So um, having floating memory card like Savage Slash, but also like uh, maybe. Uh, uh, Swift Recruit, which is a 1-2 intercept that has floating memory. Uh, Veteran Soldier, which is a 2-3 that has floating memory. Cost a lot, but that's not a, prob a, a big problem in the Grand Archive. Uh, Flame Rune Swordman, which is a 2-2 two, two, uh, for 3 that has floating memory. These are really good in Lorraine. Because you want to keep your card, you want to level because she has a really good hunter effect on level two, a really good passive on level three. But uh, if you use all your card to level, if you won't be able to do damage, so that, that then then what's the point? So yeah, uh, yeah. So, and also one of the one of other cards that could fill in that role is a library witch. A library witch is a zero one that costs two, but when when she dies, you draw a card. Uh, draw a card is better in practice. Uh, in theory, it's better than floating memory because you do have the card in hand. Uh, but but in in this case, it's the the the, the real. Good. Uh, the real advantage that she, that the library witch has in Lorraine, is to be intercept, to intercept an attack. So mm -hmm. against Lorraine, if you, uh, that that's one of the cards that if you your opponent is Rai, you don't want to play that because you you expend a card to put a zero one in play that Rai doesn't care about at all. He, he, Rai doesn't want to attack you. He just wants to be chill in his uh, in, uh, on his side, <laughs> building his combo, then one shotting you with spell uh, that the library witch can do nothing about. So library witch is a really good card against Lorraine because it, it, even if she prevents you one damage, she she has done her job. So yeah. So that that's the that that's the kind of card that you want to play early on in the game, to be able to keep uh, uh, enough cards to be able to pull out the big combo that we talked uh, earlier, uh, with the level two and in, into level three into big attacks. Uh, then then there the with Lorraine there's other maybe trick that I can talk about. Uh, we could talk about the sweep. There's the flame sweep and the hurricane sweep, either if you're fire or wind. Uh, they basically do the same thing. Uh, they have difference. The hurricane sweep is better late game, but do only do one damage, but costs less if you're level three, for example. And the flame sweep will do two damage base. But uh, keep in mind that even if this sweep seems like underwhelming because they have high cost and low damage, it will it will hit everything. And if you have, let's say, for example, you enter effect of uh, Lorraine level two, then it's plus two to every hit. So if if you uh, you just level uh, go to level two and you have sort of seeking, for example, you. Uh, 
and you play Flame Sweep, uh, this will end up being five damage to every ally and the your, your opponent uh, champion uh, yeah. with the Flame Sweep. And so, if if you really have uh, as level to level two, and your opponent has three ally in play and you kill them all, you draw three card also because the the on enter uh, level two on enter is uh, on ally kill so it's every time she kills an ally so if you kill three it's three card so can be devastating if if you're playing against lorraine you don't want to do that you don't want to have multiple ally in play because the the tempo switch would be uh it's it's pretty much gg if you if you lose three ally to a sweep like this it's pretty much gg yeah so it sounds like um it sounds like Lorraine can be very aggressive, uh, but you but you also have to be careful to not be too aggressive against her, at least from an ally perspective, because you get punished uh, at the same time. So um, I'm interested to eventually hear about any potential weaknesses that Lorraine might have, if any. Um, but we don't uh, have to, we don't have to jump there just yet. Yeah, uh, Lorraine as. Um... Yeah, she, she might have weakness. It's it's hard to say though because um, one of the weak, uh, one of the main difference in between all the uh, Lorraine uh, archetype. I, I mean Lorraine archetype. If we talk about lo aggro Lorraine, fire Lorraine, mid range, wind Lorraine, mid, which is mid range also. Uh, sh she has. Um, the, the, the big difference is the moment you want to try to go for the kill. So even if you're playing aggro Lorraine, if you don't have the card in hand, you don't go for the kill. Mm -hmm. You cannot go from the kill, for the kill. It, 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 it gives you nothing to, let's say you're playing against Rai. Rai is level 2, so I think level, two, uh, level 1. I think level 1 Rai has 19 health. Uh, and you can do a big, a big da damage that will that that will swing for twelve, but put him at five, and you to, and for that you need to use like three or four card. Maybe that's not a good play because then after you don't have a, any more gas to finish finish him off, mm. and the next turn Rai goes to level two, gains four life, and uh, now maybe put, puts up uh, something like. Um, a library witch or something to 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 to, uh, to shield himself, then it, it, it might be GG because if you have if you start your turn with three card in hand, you cannot do uh, ten damage. It's it's impossible. Got it. But if you uh, if you have done some damage, let's say you play cards like Savage Slash. Savage Slash is a really really good card to play early on because it's two damage. And you can use the floating memory to level, so you don't use the card uh, for real. Uh, veteran soldier will, which costs a lot, but if you still have a lot of card in hand, that's not a problem. You you pay for her, you put you put her in play, you swing for two. She has three held. So uh, if if your opponent wants to kill her, they have to work for it. Uh, and you don't care because she has floating, floating memory. So if she dies, you 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 use her for to level to put up a, a wire long sword in play or something like that. So that's that's the main the, the the plan early on, and you wait for your combo. So if if you're going for the uh, level two level three combo, then you wait for your dungeon guide. You wait for uh, you, you wait for the the your spirit blade card. And when once you have that, you go ahead and do and do the um, and do the combo. If you don't have the, the the dungeon guide, then what you're looking for is uh, a turn where you can uh, kill one ally at least with the level two to be able to at least get the card back from leveling. So so that's that's the worst case in you. Yeah, the real worst case is to get nothing at all. But that the worst acceptable case it's. At least I level to swing, swing to, uh, to kill an ally and draw a card. Because at some point you want to level. If if you have uh, two uh, two uh, sword in the banish, then it's uh, two free damage if you're level three. So you want to get there eventually. 
you but but you want to get there fast if you have the if you have a combo but you you still have to get there even if you don't and if you're playing more aggro then uh, what you want to see early on is uh, maybe uh, cards like uh, increasing danger that with pu uh, with pu uh, will pull put fire card in the graveyard uh, but costs nothing uh, creative shock uh, which will make you draw, put card, fire card in the graveyard, and uh, they both may make you look through your deck to find the card that you want, uh, the fire momentums and the ending flame, which will finish uh, at least it hard your opponent. So, but but if you don't have that, and what you have is card like maybe banner knight you have two banner knight in, in in your hand and you still level uh, level one banner knight is uh it's a, a two cost ally one three uh that uh, gives a plus one to every other ally and your uh, your weapon if you have if you're level two so if you're level one this the this do nothing it's it's only a one three so if you play one or two banner knight at start of the game and they die then you have just lo lo lost two cards for nothing. So you don't want to do that. You want to play the card that doesn't get you uh, down on card, will look into uh, for your combo card, and uh, uh, yeah, that, that that's pretty much it. But if you're level two, you have one or two ally in play. Let's say you have a, a flame rune and a veteran soldier in play. You go level two. You play two. You play one or two banner knight. Then it may, then it makes sense because it, you you will get the the plus side of having him in play and doing a lot of damage. Got it. Um, so yeah. I have, I have other cards. Uh, one, uh, one of the cards that we didn't mention, I realize, uh, is Prismatic Edge, which is a, bi a big part of Lorraine uh, <laughs> level 3 that I completely forgot to talk about. Um, I, I've talked about what you will do uh, the first turn you go level 3. If, if you dungeon guide, then you want to attack because you have the plus 2, etc. But what about the turn after that? Because um, more often than not, you will do this this combo. Uh, what will happen is your opponent will be at four, would be at five, six, seven, maybe. And now you're level three. You you have uh, twenty eight life. You you pretty hard to kill. Uh, so you will most likely survive if you do this fast. The next turn, what you want to do? The the next turn, you want to be able to put prismatic edge in play. That's that's where uh, the bread of butter uh, and butter of uh, uh, Lorraine level three uh, as sword because uh, prismatic edge has a really good enter effect that says uh, both player reveal, reveal their memory. If a fire card is revealed that way, you can deal three damage uh, to uh, the unit you want. If a win card is uh, revealed that's, that way, your opponent banish a card at random from the memory, and I think water is you draw a card. Um, this is especially good in Fire Lorraine, because if you play this right, you can ensure that you have at least a fire card in your memory to be able to do the three damage. So basically, when you put this uh, sword in play, you do at least six damage because uh, it's a uh, it's an it's a sword that swings for three also. Uh, and one of the card that is uh, best card to put it in play is Spirit Blade Infusion. Uh, not Infusion, I mean Ascension, sorry. Uh, Spirit Blade uh, Ascension says that you put back a sword, a sword from play into your material deck, then you can put a card from either the Banish or your material deck in play. It doesn't look for the cost, it doesn't care, it doesn't care that Prismatic Edge costs two. Uh, if you're level three, you can play this and put a zero cost sword into your material deck and put out uh, prismatic edge. And what's more of it is that it costs one. So if you pay it, you pay for it with a fire card, then 100% the under effect for for the fire card. 
if you pay it with a win card in win lorraine then you're 100 percent sure that the, at least the win uh enter effect will happen got it um uh, yeah and it's a fast spell so the the fast spell doesn't comes uh useful often but it does come off uh, useful in uh this in the the game that you will not have the dungeon guide and you will go Lorraine level three on your uh, on your on the start of your turn <coughs> sorry uh if if you do that and you have kept uh spirit attention and a, and a fire card in your hand and you have a sword in play um you materialize uh, Lorraine then pray your collection before recollecting your memory, you play the Spirit Blade Ascension. You go fetch the, the the sword. It will come into play. It will trigger. You will deal your three damage, and you can take back the one card that you used to play this card since you played it before recollection. So um, I don't know if uh, the the phase in Grand Archive is material uh, wake wake waking up so you wake up all your unit then you materialize then recollection but you do have in a, a window of opportunity before recollection to play fast spell so that's where you will play the spirit blade ascension and uh and and you can do um wonders with uh, not not many cards for example uh, uh if you have um if you have two of the of them uh, spirit Blade Ascension in Anna, but ju just one fire card. You 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 can play both of them in the same turn, and uh, maybe something that is not uh, um, evident at first is that uh, since you it's it's two is two steps. So you first put a sword uh, from play into your material deck, then you put you put out a a, car, uh, a sword from either material or banish. You could put the prismatic edge itself back into the material deck and put it out uh, with the same spell with the same ascension so, and basically uh, redo the the enter effect of uh, yeah. let's say uh, the, the three damage or the banished memory see, see which this, is this is why we're doing this video <laughs> this, something <laughs> like this this is an that's an incredible play yeah I, I remember uh, a game where I, I had I had this trick in, in in hand. I had only three card in memory. I had the a fire card and the spirit blade ascension in hand. I do this, then I recollect and draw another. So okay, <laughs> <laughs> I, I play it once again, and yeah, that, that was pretty lucky. But that that's why you do this kind of thing to at least keep the card if it. If you uh, if you have need of for it, it's it's a little trick that you you need to um, need to know and utilize if you want to get out the maximum potential of the your champion. Uh, I have other card that I want maybe to take mention. Um, Lorraine has pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm getting really far here, but. Um, Lorraine has pretty good uh, intercept uh, ally, uh, the Esteem Knight, which is a 2-3, uh, that costs 3, and the Crusader, Crusader of Aza, which is a 2-4, that costs 3, but will come into play rested. Uh, those are really good cards that are to play against another Lorraine. So if you have uh, one of uh, two, um, if you have a couple in your deck, and uh, you you know you're playing against a Lorraine. That's a really good card to play because you play them. Uh, if Lorraine attacks, you intercept, you uh, retaliate, you do damage you uh, to your opponent, and you don't get damage. That's a really good uh, really good deal, really good trade to to make. Uh, but and also uh, the maybe the secret to play against Fire Rai. With Lorraine is is those. If you uh, if you want to, uh, the game plan uh, depending on the on, on the hero, uh, the the Rai is really different. Uh, against Lorraine, you want to pace yourself. You don't want to put too much out. If you put too much out, that get wiped. 
uh, and give too much card advantage, you will you will lose. But if you play the same way against Rai, you will lose for sure. As as soon as you know that your opponent is playing Rai, you start uh, putting ally in play, swinging with sword. The mo the more you can, the, the the most you can, because the the only way to to prevent Rai from doing his, his thing, it's either you kill him or you at least put enough pressure for uh, the Rai player to be uh, to have to use their uh, their resource, their card. Uh, if Rai use one card to kill one of your card, then you're even. If if Rai has to play card that they don't want to to kill your your minion, then you print yeah you, you, you have won a, a, a battle there because uh right uh, wants to have the the most card possible in hand you want to use at uh, the the less possible card and if you force them to use them then you're not giving them their game plan so uh so against right play but the 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 more ally possible maybe it's it's still dangerous because Rai can play card like uh, Persian Flame or um, Anger the Sky that I don't have out there, but basically they're sweep, uh, but in in spell then there's a... and uh, if you play too much ally and they play card like that then they they, they, they win a little card trade, but it, at uh, in Grand Archive. Every ally, except maybe Crusader of Aza, but every ally has, has basically aced, which uh, they attack the first turn they are in play. So if you play an ally and attack at least one with it, at least it it, it doesn't has been for nothing. So um, you, you have you have put up you have put pressure on your opponent. So, but against Lorraine, which Lorraine is. Uh, Really tanky. She can play an intercept ally, and she can uh, utilize ally in play to draw a card. You don't want to to be playing uh, a lot of ally. Me, you want to have maybe one in play each uh, at every time. Uh, maybe two if you have floating memory ally like uh, veteran soldier or flame uh, flame uh, flame rune uh, swordman, uh, because you have one more. You put more pressure. And if they draw a card because they kill them, at least you don't lose a card yourself. You do get it back. So it's it's that, that that's the that, that um, maybe uh, uh, not that bad. But uh, you you always have to play uh, to pace yourself against Lorraine and against Rai. You have you want to go all out the, the the most you can because you don't want to give in the time. Got it. Uh, I have other card in there, uh, maybe uh, Azen Protector, which is a, a 3-4 intercept in uh, win, which is really good. There's, um, yeah, I want to maybe enter, but, but there's like these two card in win also. Uh, I feel like I don't, I uh, don't, uh, talk a lot about win but reclaim which is a fast spell that uh, permits you to put back an ally from uh, your uh, one of your ally to, uh, to your hand to basically say save, save them uh, favorable win which will give plus one l to each of your ally uh, in win the game plan is more of a i will play ally a little a little more than fire because i have card to back them up so that's the big difference between wind and um, and fire. Fire is big swing, is card selection, is uh, a lot of yeah, big swing and card selection basically. And okay. uh, wind is uh, more ally and more ally protection. So uh, you you make if if you put pressure on your opponent, they try to kill your unit and you save them, then you gain card advantage. Uh, win is more of a. It's the. It's the more control of the three uh, Lorraine archetype that exists be because of that. And yeah, the other one is. 
maybe maybe the last one that I will talk about is uh, second win uh, for for win uh, for win Lorraine. Uh, second win is a fast spell that gives plus one and wake up an ally. Uh, the 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 little trick with that is that you can attack with an ally, then play second win uh, in response to your attack before the the damage is uh, resolved, which will give the plus one to your ally, will wake it, will will with, uh, wake them up. And you can swing once more. So uh, if your ally is supposed to swing for three, you play second win. It, it will deal eight damage instead of three. If it was four, it will be ten damage instead of four. Wow. So, so that that can be a little uh, um, big. And the, the 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 big dream of the 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 last card, last mm -hmm. but not the least, uh, with the yeah, I'll put it put her beside with the second win is Gildas. It's really hard to pull off, but uh, Gildas says that if you have uh, the same amount of card in your memory then uh, compared to your Anne, then she has plus three damage. Add this with like maybe ornamental greatsword. This uh, you put you materialize ornamental greatsword, give plus one to Gildas. You have seven card in hand. You attack with Gildas. You play second win on second win on her. She wakes up. You now have three card in hand, three card in memory. She has six attacks, so she will strike for twelve this turn. Wow, which <laughs> can be really <laughs> deadly and soon. So yeah, maybe say... maybe maybe if your open uh, win Lorraine opponent as uh, as a Gildas turn one in play. Don't let her there. Yeah. Kill her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will say that uh, it's it never seems difficult for you to to play Sil Gildas uh, effectively against me, but I will. I haven't had that combination done yet. The uh, the Gildas with the second wind, uh, mostly because it, I, I play against Fire Lorraine. But um, yeah, but yeah, no, that that's. That's nasty. <laughs> yeah, Wind Lorraine is uh, is not uh, that prominent in the in our meta right now. Uh, I think that uh, she is harder to play, uh, less uh, less flashy. Also, mm -hmm. uh, she grinds. You have to grind the game with uh, Wind Lorraine. You you cannot just like say boom you kill. Uh, it, it can happen with cards like second win, like, uh, as as we talk, but uh, as we talk about, but it's not a, it it won't happen <laughs> often enough for for you to want to play uh, with Lorraine. If you want to play with Lorraine, is but it's because you like a reactive uh, play, uh, uh, waiting on your opponent to make a wrong move. Uh, make them pay for their wrong move. Like they will utilize a, a spell to try to kill your your ally. You will reclaim your ally. So uh, they use one card, and you get one card, uh, and you don't lose card because reclaim has floating memory. That Got that's uh, th that's the big part. Yeah, I, I think I forgot to mention it, but uh, both reclaim and feral win both have uh, floating memory. So you can save the uh, save ally with this, and you don't lose card. And if your opponent uh, expended card for that, then uh, you are up a card. And if they they didn't, but they uh, use their turn, well, they lose they they lose their turn. So <laughs> for for nothing. Um, so yeah, that's basically everything that is uh, that I think about about Lorraine. Uh, there's other niche card. There's other uh, card that could uh, make the the, the 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 list here. Uh, it's it's not really a, a deck, the, as uh, as you may know, because there's wind card, there's fire card. Uh, you don't want to be playing like fire momentum. I think I think a big. Um, Turn three, uh, aiming for turn three kill with fire momentum and rending flame. At this, at the same time as playing a lot of crux card, it doesn't go together. It's I think it's either one of them. You you either want to go for the level three or you want to go for the faster kill. Uh, so yeah, that, but but that's basically everything that is um, present with 
prelude that uh, is uh, makes well it's basically three deck <laughs> three of my deck that put together there's a inspiring call that is a card i didn't mention but it gives plus one to all of your ally and you put a card in memory so it's basically free gives damage but uh, more often than not in our current meta you will play against lorraine you don't want to have too many ally in play so this card is not that good a uh, tactful surgeon uh, with it's a one four if you have attack you will put a card uh, you can put a card in memory so it's an uh, it's an ally that don't cost a card that's good you want to play the this kind of card uh, at the start of the game i didn't may maybe mention it before because it's it's not the main game plan the main game plan of uh, for lorraine is really our uh, main line of i love all i use sword i do big swing Got basically it. <laughs> basically it. it and the the all the while before that uh, before the, this happened i will try to to control the board use as little card as possible and sneak damage little uh, here and there got it well john Su, this this was absolutely a master class on how to play lorraine uh really appreciate it I hope my dog snoring in the background wasn't too disruptive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't. I, I haven't heard. So. Perfect. Um, so again, really appreciate you coming on the channel and going over this. Uh, I'm sure you know a lot of people are drawn to Lorraine as a, a champion uh, already, and I'm sure uh, as more and more people become interested in the game, they're going to need to know you know these different card interactions, and this is going to really shortcut them uh, to get there. So again, really appreciate it. Uh, always look forward to playing you in uh, the Discord events, and I look forward to to seeing what you do, uh, you know, on the 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 circuit, the the tournament circuit once the game is actually released. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked for that. It's, it's, it's been my pleasure to be uh, to be here. Thank you for inviting me. And yeah. My pleasure. I hope we could uh, we could do this again. Uh, if you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, always always uh, uh, appreciated. Uh, and if you have any questions for me or John Sue, feel free to uh, comment in the section below, and uh, we'll we'll try to get to those as quickly as possible. All right. Thanks.